out of your league. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, brother, butler. Wigs are very important to you when building a character. Incredibly important. I just think wigs and makeup and your costume completely transform me. When I read a character that I really, really love, I know immediately what they look like. And then it just doesn't make sense if it looks like me. Like I can't, I don't want to rehearse like that. I just, I want to go through 100% and actually become that person that I thought of when I initially read it. And it's, I usually get a really, really strong image. It's a confidence builder. So you know, for example, the the wig or the, the look, you have that in your head once you start to understand a character or does finding the right wig help you understand the character? Sometimes both, usually I go immediately to a wig store and I try on a million things and then the second the right one, or at least in the right area, gets on my head, I, I'm like, oh God, that's that's her. And then I will send Paul a picture I've sent him many strange pictures of myself from a wig store. <laughs> and I think two of them in the movie were just like the cheapies that I actually got at a wig store. I remember sending him the short gray curly wig, and he's like, you want a permed short gray older woman's wig? I was like, yes, isn't this great? And, uh, First actress in history it. to ask for yeah, that. Yeah, I'm the idiot that's always like, can I look even worse, please?